so we can also create checklists on the iPad in BIM 360 field. Um, so if I go to my checklists, uh, this will bring up a list of templates. So these might be standard QA, QC procedures. These might be health and safety audits. Uh, these might be com commissioning checklists. Um, and for this example, we're going to use one of the full protection checklists. So I'm going to start that and I'm going to open up one of my existing checklists. So we can see um, it asks a series of questions based on what you've inputted. Um, and I've said and I've answered yes or no to a number of these. Um, we can see here um, in the middle, secure and stabilize all ladders before climbing them. So in this instance, that was non-conforming. So I've said no. Um, and then on the left-hand side, I can create an issue straight away of that. So I can tap on that, tap on that, and that's my issue that I've created. So that will create that will create an issue in the issues tab. So we can um, we can work from both areas of the system. That's very handy indeed. Um, with checklists as well. Um, we can report on those. So everything in BIM 360 field we can report on. Um, going back to the introduction where we've got the, the, the project overview um, screen, uh, conformance to audits can be reported on. Um, we can do project reports. And then if we've got multiple projects, we can do, uh, we can report on multiple projects as well, which is very handy indeed so at the moment uh, whether that be the health health and safety person or trade package manager whoever it is doing the audit we can do the audit live on the ipad and that data will then be stored in the system and analyzed in the system straight away um, and we can just chuck out some some nice reports on that this means we don't have to go and do the audit on on paper or you probably use an ipad anyway but you don't use we're not using an application that you then have to then go through and do a report on it manually this is all in one system and it does it all for you and we can report across multiple projects as well. It will save you a lot of administration time, especially if you're a health and safety person and you spend, I don't know, three or four days a week going round to the sites, carrying out the audits, and then you probably have the Friday in the office uh, writing up your reports. Um, you've pretty much got your Friday back if you move over to this system because it, it takes all that legwork out for you.